I was hopping, yeah. Like up and down or in a car? I was born into it. I'm a third generation. You had a low rider baby carriage. <laughs> But I do have one of those. Actually, gets higher than that. <laughs> She's one of the main OGs out here. You're a cholo, which means what? A gang member. I know I look like a cop, but I'm not. I swear <laughs> to God. Don't lie. The guy doesn't have a car. It's not happening. No fucking no. All right, I like to sing. What do you say? Everything. <laughs> How much a year to maintain if you're I, hopping? I don't, I don't even want to know. You don't want to know. I don't yeah. even want to know. You've been dressing like this the whole time? Right. It was me high. You learn one thing about car culture is never to touch someone's car. That's like fit a finger underneath. I lost a good friend, so she comes cruising with me. Look at the inside here. The president, vice president of an all-woman car club. Good afternoon, guys. I've been doing a lot of videos about Chicanos in Southern California, but I haven't focused much on the female side of things. Chicanas. So today we're gonna to meet up with a local Chicana at a car show and get her perspective on the culture. We're here in downtown LA, and I'm here with Sandy. This Sandy. Is Sandy. Hey, what's up, Vanessa? Vanessa, you're part of a car club, is that correct? Yes. We're the, the president, vice president of an all-woman car club. I hit switches, I hop my car, I do all that shit. And my husband works on my car, so he's at home working on the car. Uh, okay. He's my mechanic. He's my, you know, my go-to. On my car, I have um, two two pumps, and my car does this with weight. This is about how my car looks when I do it. All right, I like to sing. What do you sing? Everything. <laughs> Hip hop, give me, give rap. Me, you want to do Grandmaster You're... Flash? Son says, Daddy, I don't want to go to school because the teacher's a jerk. He must think I'm a fool. I'm Dance gonna... to the beat, shout for my feet. <laughs> yeah. Whole families come out, right? This is like a family sport. Oh, definitely, yes. That's like Vetrano yeah, yeah. style, right? Yes. 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 Definitely. You're going to see it all in every car out here. the same hair. They do, right? Wow. Yes. That's my sister. When you're um, in a relationship, it's sort of hard to be with someone that doesn't low ride, right? Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta like have a car guy. guy. You gotta have a car man. Oh, yeah. The female, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Well, the guy doesn't have a car, it's not happening. It's, I know. No. <laughs> no. Hell no. We talk about Chicanas out in the low rider scene. She's one of the main dope Chicana bitches out here. She's the OG. She's one of the main OGs out here, for sure. It's not our first time posing, is it? Oh, no. <laughs> photography is a big part of this. Oh, definitely. That's what this event is. It's a, like a showcase for all the photographers okay. and all their pictures. <laughs> a lot of uh, the Chicanas out here have nails. That, that's kind can of I, like can a... Can you put your hand up? Dope... See this one? Because this is my good hand. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's two inch nails, right? Yeah. Are you going to take... You. This is another one of my, my Chicano homegirls. Oh, nice. low rider. I grew up with my uncles owning low riders. It's in my blood. So just grew up. I seen that car for sale. I told my husband pull it over. I told the guy I give you cash. It was a rust bucket. I built that car from ground up. Walk us through the fashion. Striped shirts with collars. The normal. Charlie Brown. The Charlie Brown, okay. Yeah, this black is the pants. black pants, the khakis, the what slippers. Are you for these are the slippers. slippers. These are old school. And it's kind of went away for a little while and now it's yeah, coming back, so right? This is what how I used to dress when I was in junior high school. All the way. I always had to have the creases and all that. This car is my youth. It brings me back, back in the days, my youth. I enjoy it. Stress lever. I work for an aerospace company, for the Boeing company, a legal department. So I come out, even though I have that professional life, this still, this is what I like to do. Do your coworkers know that you have this side? They do now. <laughs> Another one of the little fem uh, females out here in the scene. This is one of my son's club sister. She's from the bike club with my son. So you're not. You're not driving yet, are you? No, I'm, I'm riding a bike for now. But oh, in a few nice. years, I'll get mine. 
I'll get my car. Did you style your bike out yourself? Yeah, my dad my dad helped me build it when I was about nine. Oh, okay. I'm 13 okay. now, but You're 13, okay. Yeah. So you have like in the perfect world in three years you're low riding. Yep. Okay. I'll be I'll be on these streets right here riding my, my own car. You've been dressing like this the whole time or did you just start? Since I was a little one. No Since way. I was knee high. This is my baby? This oh okay. Is it no the car? Oh okay, the car, yeah, yeah. I don't know the kid. I don't know the kid. <laughs> Yeah, this is nice. the 1963 Impala. Why don't you want to uh, do hydraulics on this? I have never been an it's interest of mine. Not for me, not on this. Yeah. That just depends who you are, your personality. Who yeah. does that, also, right? One, I'm a little bit too much of an old lady already to be hopping around. I've seen older ladies hopping. Some have no business. <laughs> she's hopping. Yeah, yeah. She looks like she's in her 30s. She's in her 30s. I'm in my 40s. You're 36. <laughs> And your friend here? That's Star. Woo. Star. Yeah. There we go, there we go. Watch out at the events, you could get hopped on. You know, I was hopping a couple days ago. I loved it, it's yeah. a lot of fun, first time. I think the boot I get was it. too big to be hopping. Be oh, I know, high. you're oh. <laughs> Like, I know, I could get better shape, but yeah, yours, there's a lot of jiggle. You need a special on. prop. Yeah, yeah, too much going on. If you're matching your shirt, Star, to your car? I was hopping, yeah. Like up and down or in a car? Both. Oh, Both, okay. yeah. <laughs> All the above. Nice. Talk about your bike. What's going on here? We got suspension up front. Classic Green. link wheel. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Are you the father? Yeah. Is it cool if I have your girls in the video? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. This is my sister. This is my sister, Roxy. Oh. So these are the little chicanas of, of now. The little chicanas. So the, the culture is, is growing, fair to say? Absolutely. The culture is definitely growing. It's going from the, you know, the parents to the kids and it's back up again, you know? So it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It, I'm guessing it builds like a really good bond between you and your kids. Absolutely. Especially with them two. She's 13 and she's seven. So this gives them something to do together and they're, they're bonding even better, closer, bringing them closer together. This is your bike club? Yeah. That, that, our president is over there. But this is, this, is where, this is where we're from. This is another one of the Chicanas out here that's old school as fuck, been low riding. Thank you. Thank you. You know, out here 40 years. 40 years. 40. 40 years. Since yes. day one? Since yes. day one. And I was born into it. I'm a third generation. You had a you had a low rider baby carriage. <laughs> yes. You wouldn't you know, believe it, but born. wait, no, she she was like literally born in or made. No, made in a motherfucking low rider. Yeah, yeah. I want you to know I haven't had my nails on in three years because I built my low riders. You built them. I built them. Yeah, she works on them. I will. I built them, build so them. So a lot of the Chicanas I've talked to don't build their low riders, but you do. Yes. My son's a fourth generation right here, Alex. He welds. That's Alex. Does my Alex down there. Does my hydraulics and all my setups. How's the culture going right now? Is it the Chicanas? Is it increasing? With, with all decreasing? Honesty, it's picking back up again since like the 90s. But at the same time, there's a lot of people out here that don't respect the original rules. What are those? You know, just common respect, common respect. There's just so many people, it's getting hard for them to uh, keep pace with it, you know what I mean? But the more of us originals that are out there, the more of us that support each other, like Sandy and all the yeah. girls, the more easier it is. So when you say common respect, like OG respect, respect the elders, yeah, those that have walked the walk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's in every culture right now, it's sort of declining a yeah, bit. Yeah, it is, it is. Maybe it's social media or something. I'm gonna go with social media, yeah. I'm okay. gonna go with social media. I'm gonna go with YouTube, which I'm making, so I'm part of it, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The, it's got no, a good pro and a con. My son pointed you out to me when you had walked by us the oh, first okay. time. Yeah, I saw him down there. Yeah. You have multiple cars. I have multiple Lincolns. Yeah. How many do you want? <laughs> At one time I had three, three Lincolns. I'm down to two right now. Are those legitimate sirens or is that music? No, that's just their cars. No, that's the bomba sirens. Yeah. Okay. okay, everybody run the police. <laughs> all right, all right. I know I look like a cop, but I'm not. I swear to God. Don't lie. I need a shirt that says I'm not a cop. Not the police. <laughs> not the police. <laughs> everyone, thinks I, everyone thinks I am. I can't help it. Who would you say is the definition of a Chicana? Tell them yeah, what good. Thanks for, thanks for the you know question. You're right. A Chicana. Spaniard, Mexican, with the culture, with the heritage. Y, y, y un chola. Yeah. 
Yeah, you, what would you say your definition is? I am a chola. I am okay, a chola. You're a chola, which means what to those that don't know? Yes. A gang member. Right? You're a gang member. I'm a gang member. That's, that's what I identify as a chola. Yeah. When people tell me I'm a chola, I'm like, well, I never gang bang, so I don't consider myself a chola. Right, right. Because I wasn't ever in a gang. Right. But because I have tattoos and I wear dark lipstick, right. that's kind of the you stigma. Draw your on. So, and, and I draw, exactly, you draw and I draw my eyebrows on. on. So that's kind of the stigma, the stereotype okay. of what people think a chola is. But yeah. there you go, her I from am. her. I mean, Chola. I draw my eyebrows a on thicker member. now, but... A, a female gang so member. Stop me where you want, and I won't post whatever you don't oh. want, but gang, banger, gang member, what does that mean exactly? Someone who represents their area, their neighborhood, where they grew up, uh, where their grandparents grew up, where their parents grew up. So you're very tribal in your neighborhood. Yeah, like, tribal. you guys keep it locked down to your yes. people. Like, I live in Southeast LA. What happens if I move into town? Everybody's gonna watch you. <laughs> You're gonna be watched. If I got a lowrider, that will help, right? It would help. <laughs> it would what help. Um, What's a pro tip? Water your grass every morning, tell your neighbors hi. <laughs> respect, back to respect. That's it. It's yeah. just respect. They always say this don't sh where you sleep. Yeah. There you go. Basic stuff. What's I mean, going on there? What is this? This is for you. We'll carry a real one. But see, that's how quick. What is that? Oh, oh okay, just in case. Just in case. Got to cut so it what, what is what is this drink here? Rochata. I was drinking on. I got alcohol in it. I mean, it's very good. It's so not that, like I'm chugging the bottle anymore right now. <laughs> it's nutmeg, coconut, it's rice milk, rice, rice milk. milk, sugar. Yeah, pretty sweet. Brown nice. Sugar. You got a lowrider account. Yeah. yeah. Show it then. Come on. He's actually one of the kids out here doing photography and videos, and his Instagram is Kids Love Lowriding. These are the pictures that I take during after the cruising. So the big difference you're saying in Cholo is you're really territorial in your neighborhood. Right, right, right. So everything's on a borderline. Everything's on a borderline. Everything's Do on the border. borders change much? No, 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 they stay as is. Your neighborhood, the borders never changed? Nope. Not in your lifetime? Not in my lifetime. Okay. Do you have to say protect those closely or it's pretty much established at this point in time um it's established okay i'm already too old to be doing dumb shit, but you know you did in the past of course very festive down here apologize for the audio blowouts it's impossible we got uh, subwoofers coming from every angle look at this we have a very intense well-built smoker there's a lot of metal with this thing. This guy, is no, he knows what he's doing, huh? Oh yeah, he's, he's OG for low riding for barbecue, for sure. OG, always, every every spot, every um, event, he's out there selling his barbecue. Yeah, right. You're, com you're coming in. selling out. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do, man. We don't take no food home, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got wood under there? Yeah, all wood smoke, man. It's the real deal. Pit smoked barbecue. That's what it is. Man. So people can find you online. Pit smoked yeah, barbecue. Yeah, yeah. You know, you there we go. Yeah. You mean has the raccoon fur here? Pink Cadillac, classic, sweet car, beautiful. I mean, you can't beat that. They don't make them like that anymore. How do you judge these things? Can you say that's a, a four foot hop? Or what do you say? You know what, it's really hard to say because a lot of cars look like that. And like my car looks like that. It goes up really high. It, ha it looks like it's a hopper, but it's not. So ladies, I was saying over there, because it was so loud, you were onto something really interesting. Okay. You were talking about, you used to gangbang, well, but I, you don't. I, I didn't, I never gangbang. I was never from a gang, but I, my husband was, um, I grew up hanging out with him. I grew up in the neighborhood, technically not in it, but definitely lived the lifestyle of it. Married right out of high school when I was 18. And, um, it, actually, not my husband, that is my husband today. He was a gangbanger as well, and he was actually murdered at my house. Oh, so, wow. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, that's just, and, and, and I'm not even from a gang, but he was. Just turned 18, we got married. He wanted to try to do better and change, you know, like it was like at that point, but it just didn't happen. And then um, my husband now, we were actually all really good friends. So we were like in the same circle. Me and him, we just really stayed really tight, really close. I ended up having a daughter from my first husband and he's raised her and we ended up getting together and getting married now. Some of these guys that grow up gang banging there, it's like, it's a way of life for them. So it's hard for them to change and it's hard for them to, to do something different other than what they're used to always doing, even as a child. Cause my husband started gang banging since he was like 11 and he literally grew up in the streets. So you know what you know. Exactly. So your current husband though, he's gotten beyond the gang, he's, right? He's, or, or he, no? he has, I would say he has, sometimes he has little like, you know, like flashbacks where I'm like, hey bro, no, we're not there no more. Come on, you know, you're you're doing your thing, you're working, you know, you have to, just like my girl's husband, we, we, me and her talk about that all the time, how like certain situations will occur and they have the mindset of, you know what, I don't give a f if I go to jail. I don't, you know what I mean? Right. And, and it's like, wait a minute, but you're not, you're not there anymore. You have to look at things different. When did that switch for you? Like at what age? When my first husband passed away. Because before then I wasn't thinking about my future. I wasn't thinking about, oh shit, this, you know, real life shit, real people die, real shit happens. You really, I'm gonna have a kid with no daddy. You know, you don't think about that shit when, especially when you're a teenager. Right, right, right. You, that's not on you're your mind. You're not thinking about invincible. Yeah, you're yeah. like ha having fun, living life, not giving a fuck. But when that happened, it was like, okay, this shit's real. And I feel like us as women, we're on the outside, even though I didn't, like I said, even though I wasn't a gangbanger or a chola, I was still all in it with him, you know? When I was younger, I would have guys gangbang on me because I knew who I was with. Gangbang on like, you? Like what drive does that by mean? me and throw up their neighborhoods and be like, oh, F your hubby and F this and F that. And I'm like, the hell? Like, why are you telling, you know, like literally drive right. by me and, throwing up their signs at me. Come when on, someone this? throws up their signs, is that super intimidating to you or not really? It's it's not intimidating to me. It's more like, oh, these people are looking for trouble. Okay. That's what it is. It's like, oh, these, these people are out here looking for trouble. And then if you have somebody that has the same mindset, it's like, oh, trouble's gonna start. You know what I'm saying? It's quite an artistic culture, yeah? Yeah. Like in East LA, there's a lot of murals, yes, graffiti. Definitely. Stuff like this, it's beautiful. Photography and videography now is a huge, ginormous part of low riding because you know, right. this is what they do. I mean, I have so many nice, amazing pictures of me and my car. This is a good one. That's hard to do, yeah? That's like fit a finger underneath at best. Nice car. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. good to see you guys. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, a lot of craft into these cars, guys. A lot of art. A lot of sleepless nights, probably. A lot of broken knuckles. Money. Tears. Sweat. Love. This is yours? Beautiful. A lot of chrome polishing. Chola Lives Matter. Nice. Hello, how are you? Good, good. good, good. So you you know like the thousands of people that are here. <laughs> you know pretty what? much. I know majority of them, I do. I, I've we gotten to know a lot of people out here and I get a lot of support. Being a woman yeah. out here, um, definitely. And then like You I get said, you get a lot of respect from the men for being You know a woman what? Here? I feel like I do for the most part. They do because I'm not I don't just low ride. I like I told you before, I hop my car. Yeah, and I yeah. three wheel. I do all that shit that only the guys do. That other one I put a finger under, this one not possible. If you learn one thing about car culture, it's never to touch someone's car. But that thing is, it's on the ground. <laughs> this is your car? Yeah. This is her car. Oh, this is yours? Yes. Yeah. You're winning out here. I'm trying. <laughs> that guy up there had an inch. My finger could go oh, under Oh, really? It. Oh, He's dang. got some work to I do. Maybe, maybe she should talk to you. I'm, lo I'm literally losing my plastic bumper on the bottom. Yeah. You can't even see it. My little guard down there. Oh, yeah. I, my dude has put it on over and over yeah. again. So you're, yeah. ho you're hopping. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of low on batteries right now. But yeah, I plays around a little. 
It's nothing like her car, you know? <laughs> really? She Unfortunately, it's in the shop right now. Oh, my, oh is it? How often do you say that a year? It's what? in the shop right now. Oh, almost like every week. Yeah. Yeah. Almost every week. Yeah. Like this, I go out on Sunday, and then I have to fix it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to get it back out Sunday. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Every time I take it out, I at least don't take it out for another month or so because it's most likely broken. Something has broke, and I can't take it back out. I could probably, well, but it won't be the same. And it's just did you know I'm like an omen for lowriders? When I come oh. near them, they all work. Oh. <laughs> True story. Well, oh, dang. Hopefully yeah, let's see this thing. Cool. Let's see so let's see it. <laughs> oh there we go. We got the lever in there. She's moving. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay guys, so there's four levers, obviously for four different wheels. Yeah, my little diamonds. Does that take skill or no? Yes, it definitely does. I can't hit a switch like half the girls out here. I'm still learning, so but uh, hopefully in the future I'll be out here with them. You know? Sandy's giving <laughs> classes on uh, how Are to switch. You? Right? you know what? You take She's one, girl. Maybe, maybe. maybe. We're, we're, Master we're class. Talking you know, about let it. me know. Let me know. I might uh, have to get on that we, class. We might. We might. Uh, <laughs> it's a long wait. <laughs> You're <laughs> oh, bad, man. <laughs> I'm about to uh, push some of those girls off the way to this. You, you, you were inspired by these levers. Yes. For tow truck. You know, <laughs> that's they what's look going on. Similar with a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what are these? These are big switches. Yeah. Well, those are switches on uh, the the flatbed. So when you do it, it goes. Right. Go, go try one. I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Nah. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't touch a low rider. Don't, don't touch someone's it, switches. It's actually, you just want to get it. Go like this. You do. You want to do I it. I do. Go for it. No, I'm scared you're, now. You're you're a chola. You can get away with it. <laughs> What's your name? Leticia. Leticia, beautiful name. Thank beautiful you. name. Are you low riding? Yes, that's my low rider right there. Can I film it? Yes, please. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you do the work? Yeah, well, I got Sorry. it like this. But yeah, I put the rims on it and then I put my little touch. Mexica 64. And then my rims. Oh, right on. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. And then since I'm Mexican, you know, had to put my little Mexican doll in there. It's part of our culture. It's part of our heritage. I was born in East LA. Okay. And my parents are from Mexico. So okay. I'm first generation Mexican American. Gotcha. So to me, like keeping the tradition and um, teaching that to my children is very important to me. So I have my kids out here. Those are your I have kids my over daughter, there. and that's my granddaughter. And oh, okay. that one in the black is my daughter. It's awesome. Awesome out it's here. It's cool. Yeah. I, I'm not in it, obviously, but I feel it. It's, yeah. it's like, it's a great vibe. It's awesome. And this is all our. This is our club. I mean, we have more members, but this is what came out today. The right. white cutlass, this one, and then the 69 Impala right there. That's my husband. I look up to these ladies a lot. For yeah. doing their own club? Oh, yeah. It motivates me to want to low ride it, to want to go out there. I see her hitting the switches. I want to learn how to hit the switches now, you know? Yeah, are you going to switch this thing I up? I don't have switches in mind. Are you my going to? Are you going to, though? I want to, yeah. When I was cruising the other day in a lowrider with switches, most people absolutely love it on the streets. Yeah. I got one middle finger. That was it. <laughs> it's yeah. like all love and excitement or hate, yeah. but mostly love and excitement, yeah. I would say. It's okay if everyone's on camera? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, no problem, especially him. <laughs> this guy. It's your hubby? That's my husband. All right. Good, man. They're in the holes. And you know, what are you doing? Learning. I thought, there you go. There you go. Low rider problems. Yeah, low rider problems. Yeah. yeah. What you want? Well, what you got the front? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it never stops. So. Yeah, what oh, you yeah. got the front? Never if this don't happen, then that means you're not doing it. You know what I mean? This is, it, it comes with it. It comes with it. How much to operate a low rider for the course of a year if you had to add up all the costs? To, to build it is expensive. It's a lot of money. It depends what you want. Like, there's different stages, right? People don't, you can chrome out your whole car or not. You can put hydraulics in it or not. You can pattern it up or not. Okay, so how much a year to maintain if you're I, hopping? I don't, you know and you're like, I don't even want to know. You don't want to know. I don't yeah. even want to know. It's like more than a mortgage or oh, something. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm, I mean, I'm going to just throw it out there and say at least three to five hundred dollars a week at least but then you get this 
that's the price I pay to be out here and doing what I do. Is that a sad scene right there, seeing a lowrider take off on a tow truck? No, actually, no. We see that all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's all part of the game. There's like a breaking point where it gets too nice, so you don't want to hop it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I can guarantee you a lot of these cars that are like this with all this clean paint. You're not going to see these cars hopping. There's no way. Look at the inside here. The guy's got that seat kicked back, low riding. No hopping, though. Don't be all shy. You think they're shy? Yeah, not her. <laughs> not my wife either. Shoot it up, You know, when I got it done, it was rust bucket. I had to pick a color, but I wanted a unique color. Yeah. So I put my style on it, and then I designed the interior. But I lost a good friend, so she comes cruising with me every time. So if you see my pin, she passed from COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. So I have her cruising with me. She, she actually, she really enjoys. She had a 62 convertible, nice. You did a great job. Yeah, so. so Christina's figured out how to match absolutely everything. Bandana, your friend. Yeah. And I keep the cross. This is like an or traditional, but the rosary. Yeah. Just kind of have it hanging. This one actually been blessed, so it always stays with me. You're, so a, you. you're a very religious person. Yes. The majority, I want to say yes. We're all have that culture in us. Catholic. Catholic, correct. And you got the 10 inch, 12 inch. Yeah, 12 inch. I have all carry my hat all the time with me. It's great. Yeah, so I love it. And you see all the people, the hopping, it just brings back so much memories for me. Yes. It's like being a kid all the time. Yes, the teenager, you know, me and my husband. Actually, we're almost going to be going on 40 years together. We're um, high school sweethearts. I was 16 when we met. We moved it. We wow. got married at 18 years old, and we've been um, together ever since. Um, 57 will be 40 years that we've been together. Congratulations! Thank you. Uh, what's the secret? Give me a pro tip. Get a lowrider. Yeah. <laughs> Get a lowrider. Cruise. Keep the peace between you two. <laughs> a touch of ballet is representing oh, yeah. LA. Yeah. And this is a 64 Impala. My buddy Ernie's got a 65. The lights are different. He uh, dresses in um, the Pendletons and the Charlie Brown shirts. And believe it or not, you would stereotype him right now as a cholo, a gangster, whatever we hear, but he's a fucking engineer. He's what kind of engineer? He's a contractor, a general engineer. Wow. When he's a beautiful home, he built the house. Yeah. With his hands. Can I talk about your home or no? Of course. Vanessa's got a rocking beautiful home Thank you. out on four acres which is not a easy thing to come by in Southern California it really is there and you're living and got, in you got a beautiful water fountain thank you and uh, so your husband's an engineer he he shaves it up and puts on a nice shirt goes to work and then on the weekends he's going Ben Davis he still works like that he works like that puts on a black pro club shirt What's that? it's a it's just a regular t-shirt oh. black t-shirt and um, that's, you know, and even uh, the logos with our company, it's, you know, a uh, pro club. So he goes out there and I'm sure he gets stereotyped not knowing he's a, a fucking boss. You're my twin brother Chicana. from Chicana. Chicana. Chicana mother. Is this on? It's on and so are you. Okay, so we're here with Peter, right? And I'm gonna give you the blues clues of low riding right now in Los Angeles, California, in the Mecca of low riding. Here we have Ronnie from Westbound. We got Sandy from Lady Low Rider, a network of ladies that built their own. Vice President beside her, Chacon the magazine. And with that volume of people aligning themselves together, turns into a real recipe of what the ladies do while they're surrounded by these type of people. So right now, LA Reflection is doing an art walk. The Art Walk will bring together more kids, more women, Peter and Street at the same time if you listen to the alignment and execute on it. Use your mind and stay 
a young legend in the streets. Wow. We outside. You're a storyteller, a poet. This guy has uh, out of the car control Dip. and it's going dipping it. Uh, bumper's taking a beating, but definitely the biggest hop I've seen. Do you like that, ladies? I actually have one of those. You have one of those? I have one of those. And it gets actually gets higher than that. <laughs> Put a mural of my face on it, so <laughs> you just know whose right it is. It's ours. Are you gonna put a tattoo of her face on your calf? <laughs> yeah, I already yeah. did. <laughs> you already did. All right, guys. Little insight to Chicana World, Los Angeles. With Lady Lowrider, With Car Lady Club. Low, Lowrider. I'm gonna leave her Instagram below. It's very cool. A lot of beautiful cars. And Vanessa. Miss, Miss Lowrider Princess up in here. Ciao. Good times with this. Yes, always. Check out her Instagram. It's on fire. Yes, it is. My stories are <laughs> my stories are a little weird. They're on fire. You never know where I'm gonna be, or you never know what I'm gonna do. All right. I bet it's interesting, guaranteed. Yes, oh guaranteed. All right, ladies. Thanks for Thank everything. You. Bring us we in. Had an amazing time. You're one funny. You are you a comedian? <laughs> no. Oh well, you should be. Wow. Really? Yeah. All right. I'm just following. Guys, this is my last video. I'm going into comedy. <laughs> All right, until the next one.